I've known Jim in Maryland my whole life, actually before I was born. My father worked with Jim at the SUNY Stony Brook campus, and Marilyn actually lived with us. She was a nanny for us while she was a graduate student at the State University of New York. During that time, as Jim likes to point out, uh, Marilyn used to change my diaper. So that's, that's really nice to have that recorded for posterity. <laughs> Jim is unique in that he's really had three careers. He's had a career as a mathematician, he's had a career in the hedge fund and finance industry, and now he's made his third career in philanthropy. And in each one of those domains, he and Marilyn have both brought skills that are unique and that no one else on earth, I believe, have. And that is to nucleate collaborations, to provide scientific insight, mathematical guidance, and really a passionate, diversive curiosity that I have never witnessed before in my life. Jim and Marilyn's vision is unique in the sense that they are very engaged. Jim, being a wildly successful mathematician, really focuses on going after the best people and pulling together multidisciplinary teams that are very heavy in information science, mathematics, technology, and getting them together to work on complex problems. Marilyn, on the other hand, is not a scientist by trade, but each year, there are two autism research meetings held at the Simons Foundation, and Marilyn is in every talk, furiously taking notes, asking questions, un understanding complex problems in neuroscience and genomics. So I think their basic philosophy is driven by a passionate desire to unravel the secrets of the universe, be it in the very smallest realms of DNA inside the human genome, all the way up to the largest, vast regions of the cosmos that I study. The recent award of the Simons Observatory to be led here at UC San Diego will not only benefit this university, it will benefit this universe. The mission of this observatory is to explore the earliest moments in creation, what happened and what will happen in the future. It's impacted literally 18-year-old undergraduates working in my lab to graduate students who are finishing their PhDs and working on their PhDs, postdocs, junior faculty. It's catapulted UCSD into the upper echelons of cosmology programs around the world. They've supported us on multiple risky projects that really could fail, and several have. <laughs> but a few of these have transformed our understanding of the biology of autism. And so it's really the Simons Foundation's support that has allowed us to really move into these new areas of research that we otherwise couldn't, couldn't have done. Philanthropic support for scientific research is absolutely essential. It really is those kinds of gifts that allow scientists to think outside of the box. If we're all restricted to working on research projects that are funded through federal grants, obviously those federal grants tend to go toward the, the safest bets. I don't know what I would do if I had to work on safe bets for the rest of my career. It's really only through Jim and Marilyn's support and the support from other philanthropies like the Simons Foundation that are willing to make risky moves and allow scientists to work on new problems. So Jim and Marilyn are beyond role models to me. They represent everything someone in academics should aspire to be. I've never known a, a, a pair of individuals or even a single individual who's anything like them. And to be associated with their name and the, carrying the name of their observatory and even naming our telescopes after them, I just hope that I can bring them uh, one-tenth of the pride that the, and, and joy that I believe they deserve. Thank you.